Hi everyone, Cliff here. So I'm doing incredible robot tutorials because I want to help everyone learn about the new robots that have just came out from China and Hong Kong. And this is the MyCobot. It's beautiful, the MyCobot Pi. It's unbelievable. So we have a Raspberry Pi in the base. We have an Atom ESP32 microcontroller in the head. And I got a gripper for the world's smallest and lightest six axis robot. So right here, it's collaborative robot. Right here, I got this gripper. Gripper opens and closes. So what I did was I programmed this in Python here on Linux Ubuntu, and I'm gonna show you the Python code. Now the thing is, when you get the robot, if you get this robot and you get this gripper, I want to help you so in case you have to troubleshoot. What you want to do is when you turn on the program and you turn on the robot, you're going to want to then plug the gripper in. So I have the gripper plugged in, but if you run the program, the gripper is not going to work. Uh, it's because you have to have everything enabled, and then you plug the gripper in, and then the gripper is going to work. Now, a lot of times on Raspberry Pis, it'll be like you have to turn the system all off, then plug in the sensors. So it's kind of the other way around. So what I'm gonna do is I have the robot turned on. I have the Python developers console right here with all my Python code in here. I'm gonna let you see that in a second. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the three pins from the robot, one's power, one's ground, and the other's the data to open and close the gripper. And then I'm going to plug in the gripper. Now that I've plugged in the gripper, I'm going to go through the Python code here. We're initializing the MyCobot in the Python. Then we're sending the initial angles of the robot. Now if the robot's in a different position and you want to bring it back to all zero, the zero angles and the, of, the, of the joints, then I would definitely turn up the speed from zero to like say 13 speed because if it's at zero it's going to go very fast and you don't want to and you don't really want to go too fast for the robot and damage the servos so so then what we do is we go into a time sleep and we put the robot to sleep for a couple seconds so every time we do an action we're then putting it to sleep for a couple seconds so i can show you all the actions a little slower happening but we could just do them without the sleep and then I set the state of the gripper and if the grippers open or closed I can also set a gripper value which will be the exact value that I want the gripper to either be in the open state or the closed state but the basic gripper state is either open or closed and so I also move the robot around in various uh, joints in various angles so you'll see the Python code right here so let me get the robot started and I'm going to show you the Python code right here. See gripper open, head down, that's joint three. Gripper closed, head back on joint three, and then back to the zero position. And that's that. So this is how you program a robot and how you would open and close the gripper. And then the troubleshooting, if you need help and you don't understand why the gripper is not working, it's because you're going to have to plug it in before you run the Python. All right? So if you have any questions, just let me know because I want to help you into robotics. And there are four incredible robot conferences coming up. The big one, ATX West, is in Anaheim in Los Angeles coming up. Right before that is the NVIDIA GTC conference, which is all on the metaverse and the omniverse and all the NVIDIA products and the AI. So GTC, then we have ATX West, the robot conference in LA, then there's a robot conference in Orlando, one in Boston, and then finally a new one in Detroit, and that'll come up to June. So, so I'm going to give you all the latest on the hottest robotics technology. Feel free to share the videos. Thanks a lot for watching.